My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Yeah, 1949 Corvette. Well, obviously it's not a Corvette, but it rides on Corvette independent front and rear suspension. It has a 6.0 LS aluminum motor. It's got the modern transmission, air conditioning, nut and bolt restored. This thing's amazing. The color just knock your socks off. I have so much great stuff to tell you about this one. And you can also go to volocars.com and you can read the full description. You can study 100 pictures. You get the price not only in this uh, collector car, this truck, but on a few hundred others that we have for sale as well. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new videos come out. But right now, join me, let's go for a spin. I got a lot to tell you about this one here. It's got not even 600 miles since the meticulous nut and bolt restoration. I say meticulous because it truly is. Everywhere you look is neat, tidy, stainless hardware. I mean, it's nice. Underneath the truck, uh, it is Corvette front and rear independent suspension. All the components are clean and aluminum and just spotless. They did upgrade it to Ride Tech coilover gas adjustable shocks front and rear. Has a really fancy upgraded adjustable sway bar in front. Upper control arms are uh, upgraded and adjustable. Rack and pinion steering system is all new. Uh, bottom of the motor is aluminum, so it's all clean. It has, I think it's the 4L80 six-speed automatic transmission, so you can just cruise down the highway. I think it's 331 gears. I say I think because I'm memorizing this, but read my specs on the website. I'm sure it's a 331 rear end, so it's a great cruiser. It's polished stainless steel Magnaflow exhaust. It sounds incredible. You'll hear it in a few minutes when I start it up. And the whole bottom of the truck is painted as a new frame, a uh, custom frame from a hot rod shop, and it's all boxed and painted gloss black, and it was uh, made to fit the suspension that's in there. Uh, the battery box is under the truck, has a built-in battery tender you can plug in when you're storing it. Obviously, it has a great stance, 17-inch wheels in front, 18s in back, got G-Force BF Goodrich tires. The color, is that not amazing? and every square inch is straight. There's not a ripple, there's not a crack, I have not seen a rock chip, I have not found a flaw. The paint is polished out so beautifully, it, it looks like you could dive in. I was just outside looking at it and it looked like if you got a running start, you just jump right into that door. All rust free, said there's absolutely no rust in this truck whatsoever. Everything from here forward is original and restored. The running boards, rear fenders, and bed are all new, and it's all metal. Uh, all new glass with a nice uh, light smoked tint. All of the trim, all the chrome, the door locks, uh, it has the deluxe trim around the windows. All of that's polished. And when I say meticulous, because everything fits right, too. Nothing's loose or everything looks right. Rear bumper was removed, has a roll pan, nice tail lights. It's got some real fancy latches here to open the tailgate. This is hickory wood that's been refinished in here. Stainless strips with no bolts or hardware showing. The gas tank was relocated under the back of the truck and the filler is right here inside. Again, love the color. Every rubber gasket, every seal is all replaced. Rich interior. It's a saddle brown leather interior, meticulously done very comfortable too. Everything, all new. The front bumper was sucked in a little bit for a cleaner look. All this trim is new and just gleaming. And it has a 6.0 all aluminum motor, dyno tune. It's about 430 horsepower. Uh, it's got a nice polished intake. All new vintage heat and air conditioning system. Got a new big radiator with a big electric fan to keep it cool, polished overflow, polished bow tie cap. 
It has power brakes, four-wheel discs. There's disc at all four corners, uh, power steering, power rack and pinion steering. Uh, the computer has been updated. All new wiring. It's got a modern fuse block in the truck. It's all leather, all nicely done. Uh, the seats, I hopped in there, the seats feel great. Uh, power seats on each side. It's got a nice center console at the armrest, cup holders. The whole dash area is beautiful. Everything under the truck looks new. It's all painted, polished, just show quality underneath. The hardware, uh, seat belts, all the metal is painted as nice as the outside. It's got some really nice looking Dakota digital gauges. A retro stereo fits right in the dash. And all the trim is done. Polished tilt column with a really nice steering wheel. Up overhead, it's upholstered in leather, matches the seats. Uh, air conditioning is neatly installed. So why don't I start it up for you? Yeah, the seats feel great. I'm six foot tall. I'm very comfortable. Everyone, everything's positioned in the right place. Really nice upgraded carpets. slippers. This truck's outstanding. If you're one of the really fussy type, I don't know why that's giving me a little trouble now. Obviously we'll look at that, but I'm telling you this thing is meticulous. Every square inch, top to bottom, in and out, anywhere you look you're going to be impressed. Magnaflow exhaust systems give it kind of a European uh, sports car sound. I love the way that sounds. And I do have a binder inside with documentation as to the build of this truck. So any questions, let us know. Go to volocars.com. We can help with the financing, delivery, uh, answer questions about the vehicle. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next video that comes out. Thanks for watching.